brain. Um, antioxidants is another thing that can help reduce brain inflammation. And where do we get it in our program? We get it with alkaline ionized water. That's extremely potent antioxidant. Alkaline ionized water has an ORP between minus 300 and 800, depending on your source water. And drinking this alkaline antioxidant water on a regular basis can help assist the body to reduce the inflammation, pain, and other things that are free radical damage caused. It's the easiest way to provide an antioxidant. I look at how many times a day, try to drink a gallon plus a day, I'm just flushing antioxidants out of my body because we are, if we have a toxic thought, folks, we're producing uh, free radicals. If we have a stressful day, we just think it's food and water and air. And if you live in LA or so, certain other cities, you know, you have a lot of pollution, you're getting a lot more free radicals. So inflammation is causing these, and why is alkaline water so effective against them? Because of its high ORP and because it attracts them, and it puts them out, neutralizes it, and will reduce the inflammation in the body. So the free radical scavenging is huge. You've heard about it. You keep hearing about it. And alkaline ionized water acts as an antioxidant and a free radical scavenger. Another reason why we want to use the water in our program is because a lot of issues are acid. And a lot of brain issues are acid because alkaline water will raise the pH when it's drunk in the body. And it dissolves accumulated acid waste. And the brain acidosis, per research, can be related to anxiety, depression, stress, nervous tension. You can take your own pH in the urine with a pH strip, and you can see when you're under stress, you will have acid urine. And you could be eating a, a really good diet. That's an alkaline diet. But if you have stress, you're going to produce, if you have anxiety, fear, you're going to be producing acid, in your, and it will show in your urine pH. But alkaline water will stop, per research, the death of brain cells when the body or the brain is too acid, which to me is a phenomenal factor. Now, another factor we have is brain oxygenation and alkaline ionized water. Oxygen, you know how important. Hold your breath. How long can you do it? Not very long. And what happens? You start getting brain cell damage. And so we want those that have brain cell damage already to have more oxygen to help carry the movement therapies and the things that we do further. And it carries acid waste away from the brain. It's vital for the brain and the body health and the most important nutrient in the brain. So we're dealing with oxygen and water. What are they? The two most important nutrients in our brain and our body. And it increases the level of oxygen in the brain very, very quickly. All brain problems, oh, and I should say all brains, need more oxygen. And how many here don't have a brain? Oh, I thought so. Okay, good. We're safe. As the pH increases, so does the predominance of the negative or the hydroxyl ions. Drinking alkaline water means more oxygen. Not in the form of the O2, but it's in the form of the OH, which is the hydroxyl ion, which is a stabilized because is combined with an alkaline mineral. So once it's inside your body, you have two hydroxyl ions which can form the water molecule and then give off an oxygen atom. In this way, the alkaline mineral is used to neutralize acid and the hydroxyl ion is free to supply oxygen. Isn't that genius? I think it's amazing how that works. Then we have... DNA repair, of course, when there's brain injury, brain damage, there's going to be DNA damage. So what we're doing is not, not making DNA repair. We're supporting what happens naturally in the program when we see um, people's functions change. It's going to be affecting the DNA. And research tells us that alkaline ionized water protects and prevents DNA damage. So we want to send them home with this water, and we want to make sure they continue on it. Alkaline ionized water can protect the toxic effects of free radicals. They can cause DNA damage, and it provides the increased antioxidant effects. This is a really amazing story of this young man. This was Stace. An adult, all he could do was work at a grocery store stocking shelves, and his dad's goal for him in life 
was to have him cared for and taken care of because there was no hope. He'd gone through the school system, he'd gone through whatever, he didn't really have a label on it, but he couldn't function. He couldn't carry on a conversation, he couldn't self-care, he couldn't drive, he couldn't go to school, he couldn't function. So he came to our program, he actually came about three times, and um, he was amazing. You see him here trying to get the, the connection between the different pathways in the brain, and once he gets them, they're, they're flowing. And it was very important for him to have the alkaline ionized water because it would help him be able to, number one, get the oxygen to the brain, catch the new connections that were being made. But today, he's in college, he's getting A's and B's, he's got a girlfriend. He's driving and he's functioning as an autonomous young man and he, it, it's just a miracle and his parents are thrilled and he can, I remember times in the program where we would just do rote, ask me a question, who, what, where, why, how, I had to just retrain him and train him how to, how to have a conversation and the next year when he came, he was going to all the new people having conversations. It, through the year, it continues to improve. Our program does not regress. It continues to add during the year with whatever they do. And if, if they do little, it, it, it'll still keep improving. So a summary of why we use alkaline, ionized, microclustered hexagonal water in our camp and why it's so important. Because the exercises we do, they would be rigorous for you. And they would be intense for any of you. Good sleep is essential. We want them to be fully hydrated so they get good sleep. Many of them, I would say 99% of them, are so very low in energy. So we need a way to up that energy. Many of them, if not most, are severely dehydrated, especially when they get there from the travel to get there. And many of them have never experienced oxygenated, energized water. And the brain, remember, is 80% water and it needs the maximum hydration to facilitate and make those new brain connections. Six hours of brain therapy a day means a lot of energy. Water is the single greatest source of energy in the body. It's movement in and out of the cells produces a amount of energy. Th guys, this is important about the water, that water has electricity. It has energy that you can't see and you can't prove. And that's why one of the first signs of uh, dehydration is fatigue because there's no energy moving in and out of the cells. Intense therapy means you need intense help for them. Here, if you're paralyzed and you're down there crawling, do you think that's going to take every bit of energy in your cells? You better believe it. If you're autistic and you're stiff and you're rigid and you're um, defiant, and um, you don't think that's going to take a lot of energy for mom and the staff to get that person to do that? That's why the staff and the parents drink it too. Here's Erin. She's another one of our stars. She would do two hours of trampoline a day. She came to us. She had never run in her life. And zero energy. And her recovery from her severe Asperger's was spectacular. She's this 26-year-old who now can carry on a conversation. She can initiate conversation. She can take care of herself. I mean, she sat on the couch every day and just was, oh, I don't like my life. I don't like myself. And these, these, they're, they're aware enough to know that something's wrong, but they didn't know what to do. And she's just amazing, too, today. Signs of dehydration with fatigue, brain fog, anger, blood sugar swings, moodiness, pain, premature aging, memory loss, and high blood pressure. All of these are triggers. Many autistics, learning disabled, any, any issue that's come, brain injured, they drink little or no water. What are they going to do? They're going to do sodas and juice and coffee and these drinks. The, this accentuates their inability to think and function normally. And then for many of our participants, they've never in their lives, I mean, I actually have people that have never even drank a glass of water because they're obstinate and they don't want to and the parents don't realize the importance of it. Chronic dehydration results because the necessary amounts aren't taken in every day. And to make matters worse, then they're drinking mostly juice or um, things that are more dehydrating like sodas or caffeinated drink or sugar or alcohol. And then these substances cause a net loss rather than a gain of water in the body. And those who regularly drink these things are actually drinking themselves dry, so we're getting the brains getting less and less. Now, another thing we use in our camp is brain. Um, we use the water for cooking. 
And this is an awesome thing. You take the 11.5 pH water and we soak chicken in it. And you can actually make chicken broth with one um, neck. It'll make a quart of chicken broth absolutely the most delicious. And you just leave it there five to ten minutes. It makes your fruits and vegetables taste better, last longer. And the cooking time is a lot less. Then we use a strong acid water to kill the um, mold and bacteria. It helps retain its color, and boy, does it last a lot longer. Alkaline water we use in juices, frozen juices that are organic and help to make it with an 8.5 pH. And we do everything from scratch, and so we make our own beans. But to make a complete protein, we sprout them. And I've never before seen this. We put them in 11.5 water, and five hours later, normally it takes three days, we get a shoot on it, a, a long shoot. Absolutely amazing. Completed the protein. Another thing that we do is we have a garden and we like to store some of our food so we take homegrown um, onions and they're soaked in the 2.5 water. They kill the mold, the bacteria, the fungus and then they're dried. And guess what? They taste better and they store longer in storage. Then we used it in our laundry. We had a young lady who had such poor digestion she could not digest the omega oils that we did so she had an accident on the bedding. We had washed it and tried to get the smell and you know how fish smells. There was no way that blanket was going back on anybody's bed. So we said, I got an idea. Let's put it in the 11.5 water. So we took the portion of the blanket, soaked it in there for an hour or so, came out smelling like it had been in the sun, just as fresh as could be. It was amazing. Now, quickly, we're going to show you the results by increasing all the things that we're doing, but um, undergirding it with the ability of the ionized water, the alkaline water, to get in there. Yuan uh, came to us. She had, had a brain tumor in her cerebellum, left her paralyzed on her left side, left her in a wheelchair. After 12 days, her vision returned so she could actually read out of her left eye. Her sensation in her tongue was returning so she could begin to eat. Her muscle movement greatly um, improved on her left, and she actually was able to stand and uh, do her own grooming. Here she comes in the left. She had her husband with her at all times, um, helping her, holding her because she could barely move. Then you see her on the right, midway in the program. She's actually moving herself and able to get movement with herself. Now, she came to us, mind you, bedridden. She came to us in a wheelchair. She'd been around the world. She um, is an MD from China, and she'd been everywhere for therapy for nine years. And here we have her on the left. She's now walking on her own with help, somebody near her in the wall. And then on the right, she's walking, standing alone with perfect balance with nobody near her. First time in her life. Nine years bedridden in nine days walked. Emily's eyes had never been tracking together before the brain camp, and look at how beautiful they are. Her dad was in tears. Um, Matt, severe OCD, super sensitive to noise, outstanding improvement. And then we had Johnny, severely autistic. I want you to pay attention to the mom and look and see if you see she's rested. These parents, folks, need your help. They need my help. They're exhausted. These kids are so hard to take care of. Watch her when she sits down. And then Johnny on the right, after maybe 10 days, look at her. Whew. Oh, I got him in here. Grandpa's there to help. We didn't need anybody there. He was obeying. He wouldn't run away. He was starting to eat properly. He was putting a puzzle together in the right place per my instructions with nobody around him. And he has continued to grow. And his um, doctor, neurologist, said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because this is amazing. So where would you go in conclusion? If you had a choice, would you spend thousands of dollars on expert therapy all over the world like you and her family did with unknown results? Would you endure hundreds of hours of therapy with minimal results like's happening in our, I'm sorry, school system? Would you take multiple drugs trying to solve the problems, masking the real cause? Would you just feel hopeless and helpless or would you want to spend 12 days drinking alkaline water, ionized water, along with targeted proven brain modalities that are changing the brain. <laughs> Jeannie, you saw Jeannie in the beginning and how bad she was. Here she is at the end. She has a smile on her face. Folks, she's getting married. She's living a normal life. No more anxiety, no more depression. She's gone back to life. She is ecstatic.
Jason, he changed even by the end of the program. His speech, the biggest thing is he can now flow with his speech. Can you imagine in 12 days? To, hi, how are you? I mean, amazing. This was one of the most exciting for me. A vet could not see out of her right eye because of the optic nerve damage. We did tons of programs on the optic nerve with the light, and she got vision in that eye. Her facial structure changed, and she had her balance. She was able to, to move and run and walk and do the trampoline like no, nowhere had she before, and her self-confidence returned. And then our little Chloe, she got the right side. Can you imagine? One half of the brain was gone, and we got function on the right side. And she today is moving up the ladder and getting more and more functions. She was able to balance. She's now more motivated and initiating. Now our little autistic girl, Elsa, very severely temper tantrums and, you know, the whole behavior of digestive upsets, crying all the time, screaming all the time. By about the ninth, tenth day, she was Miss Normal. She was running into everybody's arms, loving on everybody, behaving. Um, the digestive system had cleared. She was acting normal. One of the main foundations, it's not the only thing, but the alkaline microclustered ionized hexagonal water is what we use to help these people to get these kind of results. This is our staff, and of course, we understand the importance of drinking a lot of it, so our staff likes to drink it in big amounts. And, uh, <laughs> so. That's it. I will be available in the back and have resources available for those that want it.